Kofos is the third largest global credit insurer, credit information company in the world. Um, we operate in 60 countries um, here in the United States. Uh, we have offices in all principal cities. We're headquartered just outside of Princeton. GT Nexus and its uh, predecessor for us, Trade Card, goes back more than 10 years ago. Um, I've been the relationship manager with the organization for the past eight years. For us at Kofos, it was a distribution channel. Um, we are, in our core business, we are a credit protection company. Um, we're best known as a credit insurer um, due to regulatory issues. Um, insurance globally is regulated by regime. Matter of fact, in the United States, it's regulated by state. Um, however, the platform for us was an interesting uh, vehicle since it represented clients who were doing business in a very automated sense. It's channel distribution, different from how we normally engage through agents. Uh, the platform GT Nexus um, enabled the vendor and the buyer in my lingo to do business in a way which minimized the friction of dispute. Um, one of the issues that uh, challenges companies in the credit protection space is disputes, typically excluded, but still provide some degree of nuisance. Um, the product that we offer today is largely the same as the product we offered initially, it calls itself Copas Debt Protection. Um, it is sold to vendors on the platform uh, to give it some degree of assurance, uh, not using the word insurance, but assurance, credit protection, that to the extent that their counterparty, their buyer, uh, is incapable of paying based on the terms of the contract, um, we will buy that defaulted receivable. Buyers and or their vendors can make a decision to engage us. So it's one of the few areas where we probably are more passive because I'm not, not knocking on a vendor's door per se. We're you know, part of the fabric of what's in the GT Nexus environment. Um, it does facilitate um, the use of open accounts payable and receivable, uh, but uh, without use of letters of credit or someone using their own credit lines per se, but it enables them to have a higher degree of confidence, backup confidence that parties will make good on their performance payment. Another uh, benefit to the extent, um, in, at least in the current environment, we are seeing some of the buyers trying to extend terms on payment. So from that perspective, the vendor um, is waiting longer for his money. So again, for him to basically continue his product cycle, he needs access to cash. So one of the benefits of credit protection is that enables the financiers, be it his local banks or, you know, other entities on the platform who are willing to finance early payment credit protection is one of the tools which facilitates the acceleration of cash. Kofos does provide credit information and uh, one of the availabilities of uh, services that we make available over the platform is in you know, purchase of uh, credit information and ratings of customers buyers and vendors. Often you have financial service companies who are uh, expert in their particular local regime. Um, uh, COPAS being in 60 countries does have information and knowledge in uh, most countries where both buyers and vendors exist. So that enables us, that information enables us to basically provide you customers and vendors with information together with it enables us to offer credit protection over the platform. The notion of outsourcing to partners is, again, part of the way 
the manufacturing culture exists today. Um, you have smaller entities, my terminology, the vendors in the supply chain um, are more dependent on the large goliaths of the buyers. Um, they have a less diversified revenue stream. So to the extent that in a, in contrast, a company that no large customer makes up five or 10% of its uh, sales stream, here you could have someone being 20, 30, or 40% of their business. And to the extent there's a disruption there, it could be a knockout punch. So whereas you know, no one is necessarily questioning the credibility of a particular buyer per se, especially if it's in a large portfolio. Uh, but again, if there is a company whose total economic dependency is based on one large buyer, uh, the, the notion of credit protection does play a larger role um, in its financial decision-making process.